In this lecture, we will be studying about the last step in simplification of context-free grammar, which is the removal of null productions. So first, let us try to understand what are these null productions. In a CFG, a non-terminal symbol A is a nullable variable if there is a production A gives epsilon or there is a derivation that starts at A and leads to epsilon. So if we have a CFG and if we have a non-terminal symbol A and that will be a nullable variable or a null production if it has a production which says A gives epsilon. And also, even if it does not directly give A gives epsilon, if that A somehow leads to epsilon, then also it is called as a null variable. And those are the null productions and those are the productions that we need to remove in order to simplify our CFG. Alright, so now let's see the procedure that we have to follow for removal. In step 1, it says to remove A gives epsilon, look for all productions whose right side contains A. So if we have a production which says A gives epsilon and if we want to remove it, what we have to do is we have to look for all the productions in which the right side of that production contains A. Okay, and in step 2, replace each occurrences of A in each of these productions with epsilon. So, in step 1, we found out all the production in which the right side contains A and all those A's from the right side, we have to replace it with epsilon. And in step 3, it says add the resultant productions to the grammar. So, the productions that we get by doing step 1 and 2, we have to add it to the grammar. So, now let us see an example to understand this in a better way. So, here we have an example in which it says remove null productions from the following grammar. And we have a grammar given here where S is the start symbol and the non-terminal symbols are capital A, B and C. And then the terminal symbols are small a, b and c. And the production rule is like this. S gives a, b, a, c. A gives a, a and also epsilon. B gives b, b and also epsilon. And C gives c. So, we have to remove null productions from the given grammar. And the first step is to find out which are the null productions that we have here. So, if you look, we see that A gives epsilon. This is one null production. A gives epsilon and also B gives epsilon. B gives epsilon. This is another null production. So, these are the two null productions that we have to remove. So, firstly, to eliminate A gives epsilon, let us look for all the production whose right side contains a. So here we see that in S we have A in the right side. S gives A, B, A, C. We have A in the right side. And also in this production we have A gives A, A. This A is there in the right side. And in the other productions it is not there. So first let us start with this one. S gives A, B, A, C. So, in order to remove null production from here, what we have to do? Step 2, replace each occurrences of A with epsilon. So, here we have A once and A twice. So, we can write S gives. I am going to replace this A with epsilon. So, it becomes A, B, C. Because epsilon means empty symbol. So, I can leave it blank. So, it becomes A, B, C. Now, I can also replace this A, okay, leaving this A as it is, I am going to replace this A. And if I replace it, what do I get? B, A, C, okay. And also I can replace both the A's with epsilon, then what do I get? I'll just get B, C, B, C. So this is the productions that I will get for S when I replace A with epsilon in the different cases. Alright, now the next one that we have is a gives A A. In the right side we are having A. So I have to replace this A with epsilon and what do I get? I will get A gives just small a. So we get this and our new production will look like this. S gives A B A C was already there. So it will also it will be there as it is A B A C and then we have some new productions for S which are A, B, C, A, B, C and B, A, C, B, A, C and B, C. Okay. And for A, 
it already had a a a a and now the new one that we have is a a gives a so a also gives just a and now we have removed the null production a gives epsilon so you don't have to write this epsilon anymore and then b will remain same as it is when you write it here b gives uh, b b and also epsilon and c gives small c okay so now we got a new production now we are done with this one now we have to remove b gives epsilon which is another null production so to eliminate b gives epsilon we have to check this new production that we have and wherever you find b in the right side of any of the productions we have to replace it with epsilon so this is a new production that we have and we have to take this now let's see in s we are having b in the right side and also in a there is nothing there are no b's and for b we are having b in the right side so s and b are the productions that we have to consider so let's start with s s gives now i have a b a c now if i replace b with epsilon what do i get i will get a a c and from here if i replace b with epsilon i will get a c a c and from here if i replace b with epsilon i will again get a c but a c is already there so no need to write and from here if i replace b with epsilon i will simply get c okay so this is what we get and now let us do for this one b gives b b so this b if i replace it with epsilon i will simply get small b okay so this is the new productions that we will have so the new production will look like this what does s give we have to write all these things which were already there in this step we got some more new productions for S which are AAC, AAC, AC and C, AC and C. Okay, and for A, it is AA and small a like before. And for B, we have BB which was already there, BB. And in this step, we got one more production for B, which is B gives B. So B also gives B. And then C, it is same as it was. C gives C. Okay, so by following these steps, we see that we have removed all the null productions. So none of the non-terminal symbols are giving epsilon anymore. So this is the new production that we have, in which we have the null productions removed and thus simplified our CFG. So I hope this was clear to you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.